Hi guys, welcome to Gyando. Here, C++ Programming's Beginner's Tutorial Video 2 by Ms. S. Sonia Ma'am, which is based on 11, 12 BCA, MCA. So more video, keep seeing our channel and subscribe our channel. Hi everyone, this is video number 2. Last video we did the simple program to print good morning message. Now see once more our previous quote. Let me explain in more details regarding C++ program different section so that you can understand clearly. A simple C++ program has four sections. See here, section 1. They include the reactive. Section 2. Class, declaration and member. Section 3, main, function, definition and last section 4, declaration of an object. Okay, the written statement calls the main function to finish. Anyways, Let's see in another Turbo C++ compiler, a program to print your name on the screen. Here we go our code. Include iostream.h. Here, the beginning with a hash sign are directives for the preprocessor. They are not regular code lines with expression, but indication for the compiler preprocessor. It specifies that the command is to be handled by a preprocessor and not during compile time. Has include specifies that a particular header file is to be included during the compilation to assess certain function like C in out etc. The line has include iostream.h simply issues the command to include the iostream header which is generally used for C in C out. The iostream stands for input output stream allowing you to access the output screen or allow user to provide input. .h specifies that it is the header file that is being included. Next line. Include conyo.h. It again tells the compiler to include the header file console input output. It allows you to access the user screen but it used by beginner specific purpose like get function and clear function to hold the output screen in Turbo C++ screen. It is a non-standard header file used mostly compiler like Turbo C++ and is not present in all the compiler. Okay, now start execution. Int main function. In man means that our function will return integer data type at the end of the program execution and we do so by returning 0 at the end of the program. We know that 0 is the standard for successful and 1 is for fail execution of the program. Okay. If I use instead of this in void, void main function, then it indicates that the main function will not return any value. Okay, the main function is the point by where all C++ programs start their executions independently of its locations with the source code. The word main should be followed by a pair of parentheses. This is because it is a function declaration. 
right after this parenthesis, we can find the body of the main function in clause in braces. Now our program starts execution. Car name 20 semicolon. Okay. Car name 20 is an array of character of size 20. Name 20 store single word of length 20. Regarding array, I will explain in another video. Okay. Next line. CLRS CR function. This function is used to clear the screen. Okay, next. The out enter your name. The out is the name standard output stream that means output stream. That is display the contents of variable, that is the literal string, a sequence of character within the double code, enter your name on the screen. The out use insertion operator before the variable name. Next, CE in use extraction operator this operator extraction operator before a variable okay see in name in color it is an input stream and used to read or accept the operations from the standard input device or keyboard So the entire statement is used to read data through the input device. Again, see out your name is. Okay. Name semicolon. Okay, return. Zero. Never forget, semicolon must be included at the end of all expression statement in all C++ program. Now close the bracket. Once the program coding is over, we are ready to compile. Before, let's save our program with the file extension .cpp. .cpp. Okay, compile. Let's compile. Let's see is there any syntax error. If there is syntax error, it won't allow our code to compile. Okay, we have an error here. Let's see. Return 0. Okay, here. I told before, I want to return and in these the data types, that's why it should be used in instead of void. Okay, let's compile again. Our program, no error. So, we can run, go to the menu, run menu, and run. Here, enter your name. Okay, I enter Sonia. Now, let's see. Output. Here we go our output. This is our output. Your name is Sonia. It display on the screen. Okay. Let's close our output. And here is our code. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. 
Hope you guys enjoy my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Thank you. See you soon in next videos.